In this video, let's take a quick look at the steps required to create a simple topography surface. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come over here to my site floor plan. If you're in your level one floor plan, you're going to find that as we move into using the tool, site elements do not appear by default. We can override them, but by default they aren't going to appear in our ground floor plan. So let's make sure that we're in our site floor plan from our project browser. And then we're going to come up here to our massing and site tab. On the model site panel, we have topography surface. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you'll see in my options bar, by default, the elevation is zero. And in this introduction to topography video, we're going to keep the elevation zero. We will revisit this in a future video. But after this, we're just going to come down to the tools panel. We're going to see we have place point and simplify surface. So I'm just going to make sure that I've zoomed out enough that I can create a topo surface that extends well beyond the building footprint. And I'm just going to begin to click some points. And you'll see all of my points right now are at ground zero, elevation zero. And for this video, that is the simple surface that we need to be able to create. So I'm just going to click my green check mark to go ahead and create this surface. Now let's come back to our 3D view and just take a look. Now this at least gives us a surface to provide a backdrop for the future sun study model that we're going to create because we need a backdrop so that our shade and shadow of the building has a surface to reflect against. I hope this video has been helpful.